Harvesting the sun, how photosynthesis can turn light, air and water into carbohydrate. Hello, I'm Professor Alison Baker. I'm a plant scientist, researcher and teacher at the Centre for Plant Sciences, University of Leeds. In this podcast, I'm going to tell you about photosynthesis and how plants are the most amazing solar-powered biofactories. Plants use the energy from sunlight to extract electrons from water, releasing oxygen in the process. These electrons are passed on via a series of intermediate compounds, eventually to reduce carbon dioxide to carbohydrate, which can then be converted by the plant into all manner of biological molecules. Photosynthetic organisms are photowatertrophs and are at the base of pretty much every food chain. Before oxygenic photosynthesis evolved, no oxygen-breathing organisms could exist on the planet. Plants don't just produce food. That carbohydrate produced by photosynthesis can be broken down and reformed by the plant into literally thousands of different types of compounds which find use as fuel, for example wood, fossil fuels like coal and oil, fibres such as cotton, linen, flax, construction materials and medicines. Some examples of the latter are anti-cancer drugs like Taxol and Vincristine. The process of photosynthesis takes place in organelles called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are complex and beautiful structures, as seen in this electron micrograph. They are surrounded by a double membrane, termed the envelopes, and have an internal membrane network, termed the thylakoids. The internal soluble space is called the stroma. Photosynthesis can be broken down into two distinct but linked stages. The light-dependent reactions occur in the thylakoid membranes and convert the sun's energy into chemical energy, ATP, and reducing power, NADPH, and releases oxygen. The light independent reactions occur in the stroma, fix CO2 and use the ATP and NADPH produced by the light reactions to do so. We will first consider the light dependent reactions. Light harvesting is carried out by molecular machines in the thylakoid membranes. Antenna complexes, proteins with pigments bound to them, trap the light energy and pass it on to photosystems which use the light energy to remove an electron from a special chlorophyll molecule within the photosystem and replace the electron with one from water. Electrons are used to reduce NADP to NADPH, which is a source of reducing power used in the light-independent reactions. The energy associated with the electrons is converted into chemical energy in the form of ATP.